Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and today I have a Makeup Geek swatch video for you. I'm truly excited about this. I finally got my hands on some Makeup Geek eyeshadows, I think a few months ago. In this video I would tell you how I put together my palette and why I chose the shades that I chose and then after I've done that little explanation I will show you each shade and a swatch. The main appeal for me in Makeup Geek eyeshadows wasn't just the price point but especially because they do shades that are definitely a bit more unique. This is what the palette looks like. I put mine into a Z palette I already owned. Um, I used to keep MAC singles in here, but then over summer I actually transferred all of my MAC singles to an official, like, newer style MAC palette, and that meant I had space left. This is what my palette looks like. Um, I tried to go for, like, an assortment of different shades and different textures just to also give everything a try. I bought mine from Beauty Bay. Uh, if you're in Europe, it's easier to get it from there. So the way I build up the palette is that I have a couple of neutrals right here at the top. Then I have my warm tones on this side. I've got some colors on the bottom. And then I've got all of my cool shades right here in the middle. I have a certain array of shades here and different textures. So I've got a couple of foil shadows in here, a couple of duochromes, and a couple of uh, the regular shades. Why did I pick the shades that I picked? I really wanted to have a palette that sort of complemented the rest of my eyeshadow palette collection. I have a ton of neutrals already, but for instance, a mustard yellow shade isn't something that you find, even though it's a good neutral to have. I did go for like a cool toned and a warm toned brown right here in the middle because I felt I do want to still use this palette to make makeup looks with this on its own. I don't want this to be like a palette that I grab to go into conjunction with other shadows, if you know what I mean. I did want this to be like a standalone palette, which is why I do have like a good highlighty shade and I've got some like transition shades right here at the top, but I also went for like some lid shades as well as some like darker shades. So everything that I like is pretty much in here. When it comes to the type of colors I like wearing on my eyes most, it's like teals, greens, periwinkles, especially in the spring and summertime, I like wearing these kind of shades as well. I do have to say that since you're ordering these online, there are a couple of shades that I ended up buying that I'm now like, why do I own this? Uh, this one right here, for instance, in the top, I'm not sure if you can see that. This is Creme Brulee, if I'm not mistaken. One of the newer shades she, uh, that was released is this one right below it, and that's Bake Sale. And I feel that on the eye, these two are pretty much the same. And I have to say I like Bake Sale a little bit better than Creme Brulee. Of course, I did my research. I looked at swatches, <laughs> the whole nine yards. I looked every shade up that I wanted to grab. The only problem is... In a way, it's it's good that Makeup Geek has a lot of swatches on their website, which is great on like different skin tones and everything. But they mostly have side-by-side -side swatches of shades that are similar for the older shadows. So you don't really know how certain shades compare between the newer ranges that were released at a later date and the older ranges. I have to say that I'm very pleased with the quality of all of these. These don't have a lot of fallout. They blend like a dream. The quality is just really up there. Um, and yeah, I can see why people say, it, once you own Makeup Geek, why would you buy MAC? Uh, over here in the Netherlands, MAC is still, I think, 13 euros and 50 cents for like a single pan. They haven't dropped their prices like they have in the US. So if you're in Europe and you have access to Beauty Bay and you can order online, then this is definitely a good place to start, I think. I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say about the palette that I build and the shadows that are in here. I think that swatches just tell it all, so I'm just going to swatch all of these out for you right now. This is where the talky bit of this video ends. Let's go to the swatches.
that's it for this video, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I really hope to see you next week because that's when I will be back with a new video. So please subscribe if you want to, and uh, yeah, I see you in my next video. Bye.